All right, today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to create a database, a table, uh, and insert some data into that table within DB Browser uh, when working in SQLite 3. All right, this, this, this software is open source, it's free. I will leave a link in the description to all the scripts and the location of where you can download this uh, in the description of the video. All right, let's get started. So once you open up DB Browser, <clears throat> You'll see at the top, you can select new database. We're going to select that. We're going to choose a spot to save the database. All right, I'm going to just call this YouTube. Save. Uh, now, now we, so we've created the, the database. Now it's going to prompt us to build a table. So uh, the table name, let's call it, um, we can call it, let's just do like a business care. Let's do customer. Customer. And as you can see down here, it's pre-populating the script that it's going to eventually build. Um, so it's very, it's very handy. Uh, without row ID, temp table, no, we want this to be a permanent. Uh, add column. Let's take a look. So for column one, let's call this, um, let's do, actually, let's call, let's, this is going to be a, a like a, a call center. We'll call this care interactions and then field one we want to name let's do ticket update or ticket date and the data type here is going to be uh let's see integer uh, text um default it's not a primary key so we have our options here not null it, it can be null it's not a primary key all right, everything else I think is fine. Um, let's add another field. Let's do username. This will be text. And let's go ahead and add in like six fields. Field three will do, this will be sort of the rep ID or the, uh, the customer agent who's handling the interaction. This one will be integer um, field four. Let's do reason code. And that's going to be text. Field five, we'll do update date. That's when the, the ticket was last updated. Uh, text. And then this will be ticket close date. Oh, ticket close date. We'll do text. As you can see, it's already got the script. We're gonna hit okay, make sure everything looks good. Not null, everything can be null. Okay. All right, immediately you can see the table has been created. <clears throat> um, all right, now let's browse the data. As you can see here, we, we are looking at the only table in this database, uh, YouTube. Table is name is care interactions, and we don't have any data. So we could do here, um, up to the top right, we could select new record. Um, bring this over. We could say new record. And you can just come in here and type it out. Um, let's go ahead and delete that. And what we're going to do is we're going to execute some SQL. So I've got a script that I've already sort of created. We're going to alter it on the fly here. Um, let's grab this data here. First off, we're going to do insert into care interactions. As you can see, the data is starting to, to populate already. Um, we're going to do values. Oh, we've got some data here. We might need to clean that. Let's take a, here we go. So it's looking, it's looking right. We got six, six columns. All right. And let's grab our column names. I'm uh, grabbing this off another screen. Bear with me. And let's just so it's a little bit cleaner so we can make sure it's looking good. All right. Make sure it's in the right order. All right, ticket date, username, rep ID, reason code, update date, ticket close date. All right, we got our values, syntax looks good. And now at the top right here, we just hit 
We need to execute. And let me bring this up so you can see. And as you can see, uh, query executed successfully. We're going to go back to browse the data. And now you see the data. The data is now inside your uh, database structure. Browse data. And now what you want to do is we've... Uh, we're viewing the data, but you still need to uh, select write changes or you can revert changes. So if I come up here, revert changes. Uh, yes. Oh, all right. Um, it's going to delete your uh, database and everything. So what you would have wanted to do there is actually select write changes. Um, and yeah, so let's open database, YouTube. Create table. Yes. All right. So yeah. So you would have uh, just wanted to hit write changes. That way it'll save it. I think when you go to uh, close out of your program, it'll it'll tell you to uh, save the data. Um, so yeah. That is uh, how you do that within DB Browser. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, leave those down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching the video.